All right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest man on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. And now let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with big differences in height and reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five round for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. It's who is first? Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting at Los Angeles, California, presenting the challenger, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of New Orleans, Louisiana, USA, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. A lot of the UFC's best have gotten that opportunity. Absolutely, J.A. And when you grow up as a fighter, especially a heavyweight, it is your dream to headline MSG and fight for the heavyweight championship of the world. I got that honor. And I can almost feel the ghost of Muhammad Ali, Joe Frazier, all those great fights those guys had at MSG. I felt as if on that night that I retained my championship, I became part of that fraternity. 
the greatest heavyweight fighters to ever step foot in Madison Square Garden. It is an honor and a pleasure, and it felt amazing to join that fraternity. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. Might as well use it. Big ball from Bush Land. Now he gets back to range. Beautiful body to land right under the elbow. Big straight left. Got the single collar tie. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Nice body. He is all about that left kick to the body. Nice loop and punch. Sneaky body kick lands under the elbow. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Leg kick thrown. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Two minutes have expired off the first round clock. Look at the turtle in that kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And he landed the right hand there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg. Lee's head kick is blocked. No damage there. Stroke the right hand there. Just misses with the straight leg. Good stick. And both guys really throwing with authority. up the opposition now. He came out super aggressive, as aggressive really as we've ever seen him in the UFC, and now starting to uptick the volume again. Nice start here in round one. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. 20 seconds left. 15 seconds remain in the round. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Back and forth we go! That left hook landed on the button. Five minutes in the books. Take a look back at some of the highlights he has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust 
and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Straight punch there, lands on the counter. Nice job using his reach advantage there. And they separate. Both fighters throwing heat now. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Connects with the right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Oh, he heard a bat with a jab. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Back to the left hand now. Unable to connect. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Ooh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially? Nicely done. As he so at long last, he finally lands his first takedown after several failed attempts. You knew coming in that he was going to stay committed to the takedown, kept on trying, and finally got him to the ground. All right, working inside the now open guard of his opponent. Uh oh. Throwing up a triangle. The guy on his back is very good at submissions, and if he's not careful here, he's going to get stuck and he will have to submit. Postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the grounded pound starts. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Back to the stand-up now, both fighters upright. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Beautiful punch. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. to block the strike coming back. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Nice punch there by Lee. Liver kicks. Oh, that right hand is on point. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Oh, nice right hand, John. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Right hand on point. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Over and over, he landed his big body kick. Beautiful counter punch. Really settling in when it comes to his counter attack here tonight. And again, making good use of what is a huge advantage in reach. He blocks the shot. Look at him drive his shin into the opponent's body with that body kick. And it's good. Now connects with a right. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. They continue to exchange. Big kick. And now he's got that tight clinch. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks?
folks. You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. Well, what a round it was. Daniel Cormier, you are one of the greatest mixed martial arts athletes of all time. I'm not sure you can do a Superman punch like that, though. With my luck, I would try to push off and my foot would be slippery wet or something. I would fall right into a knee. No, I would not try that. I don't have that ability. I'm not that free inside the octagon. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Nice. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. Lee's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Circling to his right. He blocks the punch. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Now a counter with a body. Good job by Lee. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Working out of that southpaw stance. Double leg takedown attempt here, and that is a good attempt as he gets the fight back to the mat. It's ideal. His ideal situation just happened. He got it on the shot, didn't have to put too much effort to finish. Great job. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Lee. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter. Defense. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Oh, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Beautiful kick. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Pretty good right hand. Punch over the top. Nice job of hiding that head kick. for this division and put it to good use there. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to the position, got another beautiful takedown. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Man, look at his torso. That just can't feel good. Look at the size of that bruise on his body. And you got to think his opponent is going to continue to attack that area. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, you can feel the breeze there. Swing and a miss by Lee. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. There. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Lee's got the tight clinch now. Head kick. Misses with that punch. Big knee to the body! What a 
body kick. Oh, straight right. Lee's kick is good. Take it down. Come. Take it down. Come. Over and over. He secured this takedown. Let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. All right, here we go, fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart, we'll see who has the upper. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. Lands with the kick there, no pat on that foot. No shit guards, he's taking all of that kick every time he kills. Outstanding knee to the body there, he's the taller fighter, might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. Not there. Ooh, big shot land. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Nice counter to land the left hook there. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Let's go. Keep pushing forward. Oh, working hard here against the... Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. He is getting lit up right now, John. It's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike very effectively. Some nice back and forth action here. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Three minutes remain in the round. Oh, he counters with a beautiful jab to the head. We told you off the top he's got a decided advantage in reach, and he put it to good use there. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Lee. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Lee's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. That's going to leave a mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not-too-distant future. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Wow! Well, he's able to get back up here, but oh, man, is he on wobbly legs. Big body kick. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Lee. Nice kick. Under two minutes to go. Nice leg kick land. Nice body kick right under the elbow. See on that punch right there. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. A little struggle here now for position in the clinch, and we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody decides to relax, the moment you'll see a takedown, or somebody really speed out ahead of their opponent, you gotta be aware when you're chest to chest in this 50-50 position. Dig and kick. Oh, well, you can't enter the pocket there unprotected. You got to figure out a way to get your guard up a little bit. Another kick lands to the head there. 
and let's see if he and his corner can make the proper adjustments defensively to avoid any further head kicks here in this fight. Nice double leg takedown attempt there, and got to think that's something that's going to give him confidence moving forward in this fight. A lot of confidence when it happens that easily. He took a shot, he got a takedown. What now will stop him from doing it over and over again? All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, side control now. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Gets up again here, but hurting. Nice kick. Ten seconds remaining in round four. Oh! be out. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, so a big round for him there, maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. Fifth and final round. Oh, that's a nice strike. Beautiful body kick. Connects with a right. Big leg kick land. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Well, he's always on the counter attack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Oh, that's a good right hand. Lee going for the head kick. No dice. Single collar tie now. And they separate. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! Oh, he gets back up, but barely. Look how wobbly he is. Going for the head kick, he misses there. Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, close guard now. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is the opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing him the corner to get up, and when he does, creates this space to land these beautiful ground ball combinations. Oh, he got that knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you got to make sure you don't eat too many more of those. You cannot eat too many. you got to be the other side. Otherwise, you're going to land one that's going to shut everything down. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Back to the feet! Oh, straight right. Big punch land. Ooh. Nice right hand. Oh, pretty good counter jab to the head by Lee. Straight right, he misses. and a great performance by this young man. Now we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. We send it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop for this contest. At two minutes, 35 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Ruth the Dragon Lee. There is a new baddest man on the planet. There's the new UFC heavyweight champion. You don't get them all right, DC, but you thought this was gonna be the result and we got a new champ? I mean, he has so much power and such an ability to shut the lights off that you almost saw it coming. Congratulations to the new baddest man on the planet.